you think it's you know, it's each and every week to hear something like that. And the Advent is a beautiful reason to like it so much to share something so much and to apply to the same thing. But we're continuing our series on Living Jesus with Mary Kenneth this morning. And today we have a very pleased to have once again our chairman, Sharon Lee Davis from the Living Academy sit over the chair. Where's the train? Because we don't want to be on the baseline of seven years. That's what I'm saying. That's the yeah. baseline of seven years for everybody to go together. But where are we now? It's, it's, it's very encouraging what's on the city of the Star Academy. And as we sing that wonderful thing, let's receive that spring water that we got to hand in. Uh, the, the social sciences that we study, the human condition and the human response to the pain. Talk about the increase in crime, the increase in violent crime. I think that the pandemic really showed how fragile uh, people's lives are. And when you layer that level of underlying baseline to the hopelessness of needing to have a pandemic or a service that's diminished or disrupted and things that you have a disease that you don't know if you're going to catch yourself. See bad things, you see people around you, you see other people, and then uh, you live in a condition of absolutely helplessness. And so to take it further and stronger as you can go back, and then you have to keep going back. And don't stop going back. And don't buy this, and don't buy this, and don't buy this. We're seeing in the past that pandemic when the plans were put in place. We had Some other things that we've had to see through. So we see that across the country. Our drop is greater than any calamity that I can ever point to. And it's a decrease from year to year. Um, uh, you know, we were better than we were planned to be. Um, and then this year, we're still trending down. We're uh, cumulatively from January through March. We were 12 percent fewer calamities in that time period this year. So we are turning the corner, and I think that uh, people have come to realize that, you know, we may end up in another flood of one day through Psalm 8, maybe we're going to be in another flood. And so we want to wait until we can share something with you so that we can help you to be able to continue to bring awareness to that problem as it as it comes to the country and it sends all of us to be in a place of reactive action as well. It is encouraging to know that uh, our community of Sheriff's Office has done such a good thing for us to reach, reach out to you and share a program that we have continually programs that we're doing for the community. What 
you did you uh, meet with all of these agencies in fact uh, or they uh, what did you ever do and, and all of those agencies they have you ever talked to those agencies and you don't give them phone numbers yeah <laughs> That we could do is install this at the plant. We have a great uh, chief of the police department that actually has our phone numbers and turns out uh, the superintendent of Sam uh, has solved that we need this this one piece to break off the campus of police officers. Now it's the sheriff's department. And certainly they do their job, but I think this allows them. Speaking of phone numbers, I, you know, I tweet to them every day on my Twitter account that we're going to start a new police department and that's the key that we need to do here. And that's what the law enforcement doing what you should be doing. And it's a good thing that we have a new department and many more possible. Legislation. First, you have a chance to talk to them. Uh, second, uh, you want to meet with them and get the numbers uh, because we want the numbers. That's how we voted for it. And the way the state wants to do it, the county at least is not going to pay on the decision to call for the number of numbers. But the people would have to go down and solve some of those details. And as I said, even back when the conversation on consolidation started, Excuse me. I thought we both out to to the west of here. The one thing that we need to find is a new sheriff, and it's created by the institution. So we can't get rid of the sheriff. No matter how bad we try, the sheriff will always be the sheriff. Precisely. And at least that was before the peace agreement. That was back when it was in the uh, deliberation of the charter of the consolidated government. But it did. The sheriff is a state law. As well as the people, but the chair has to be the one from office to govern the legislature. The chair has to be the one to get the legislature involved with the governor, the sheriff's in, the governor's in the house. The chair has to resign from time to time. He submits that resignation to the governor, and then the lawmakers and stakeholders. So sheriffs are here, just like we had before, you know, we had the city of Lincoln. 